Welcome back y'all. We are home from Florida. We were gone for 11 amazing days and we had a really amazing time but I was kind of worried about my garden because we've been having below average temperatures. So there's a couple things I need to take care of around the garden today. We're going to start with a look around, see how things are going, show the beans that we planted. Um, you guys remember watching me plant these just a few weeks ago. They're doing amazing so we know that there's plenty of nitrogen getting pumped into that soil for next year. And as you saw in the opener, the nasturtiums are just, they've taken over the beds. Like I don't know how I used to have any sort of vegetable matter here because now all I have is nasturtiums. I've got some marigolds, but nasturtiums everywhere. We do have a couple of gourds that need to be clipped down and hung up to dry, and the highlight of the video, we have to dig up our potato patch because it's noon right now. The sun's as high as it's going to be. You can already see it's already kind of like casting a shadow this way. And because of that, and this being the north wall of my house, the potato bed is receiving like an hour of sunlight at best. By the time the light moves over that way, we have these trees because the sun sets over in this area. So we're getting less than an hour for our potatoes back there and they need to come out. All right, so most of these sprouts are actually potatoes that I missed on the last dig. Um, I had sweet potatoes planted in here that weren't ready yet and I really didn't want to disturb those. So I knew I was missing potatoes the last time I dug. I was just kind of waiting for them to send up shoots to show me where they were. But here's the problem. They're not gonna develop very well because they're not getting near enough sunlight. We will end up with little tiny underdeveloped potatoes that'll continue to sprout and the cycle will go and go and go and we'll never really have much of a harvest. So this is what I would call a surprise dig day. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Have to be in film in here. That's supposed to be a sweet potato. I'm just gonna pull all these up. Oh my gosh. So much for sweet potatoes. Oh my God, that is hilarious. I grew sweet potato noodles. <laughs> Red potato for the win. Ooh. Dang, this is actually a lot more than I expected already. There's supposed to just be a few in here. Just sprout there. Another Yukon Gold and a Sweet Potato. That is the true definition of tuber. So if you do happen to have like a cold frame or something, yes, you can replant these. In fact, I encourage you to. The problem is I don't have a place that I can grow them through the winter. I tried last winter, it didn't work out. I built like a little greenhouse. I even put a heating lamp in there and they just weren't getting enough sunlight. And that was even further out into the garden, further south. Some of these are edible, the ones with the bigger sprouts I'll throw in the compost, but a few of these will end up in a stew. a little huh. who's that remind you of can't even hold them all. So uh, more of these than I thought are in really good shape. So they'll be baked, mashed, put into a stew. You know how it goes. Thank you guys for joining me and we will see you in the next video for gourd picking.